Well, we really are handcuffed in the North Bay, or had been handcuffed simply by, as you addressed, the, uh, the distances involved to gain access to uh, a magnet elsewhere. Uh, there's long wait times at some of these institutions, so you have to get in line. We don't have the uh, influence to, to get people into the uh, diagnostic modality as quickly as we could. So here they will have the ability to have the imaging on site, which will save long and arduous travels for uh, you know, the sick and the elderly and the cancer stricken patients. Uh, we will have all their other uh, diagnostic resources and clinical information available, including a physician, so we'll be able to dialogue with them and give them a more comprehensive report that they might not have you know, if they went to Toronto or some other teams. And it will be in a, in a community uh, that's their own. And it's also, it, you know, it provides uh, some very, very important uh, information in terms of uh, examining skeletal structures and the brain and so on. That, uh, and I think many of these are very urgent to, uh, to address. And, uh, certainly a decreased morbidity and decreased mortality in our community. And that's real good news. Now, just a question about just you're moving into the new hospital. This is just, I guess, one part of a, you know, improved technology for patients. Could you go through some of the other examples you mentioned? Well, there are three new uh, technologies as well as MRI that are being introduced in the new hospital. I think the most important one is digital mammography. And uh, digital mammography brings uh, mammography from films and uh, processors into the real world where the radiologist will have the ability to adjust contrast and density and uh, look at and the resolution is much better. And we know statistically that the sensitivity or the, our ability to pick up tumors will be greatly enhanced with digital mammography. So there will be uh, more tumors will be discovered before they become clinically apparent. It will reduce the uh, mortality and the morbidity as well for, for women. Uh, that's probably the next most important one. Uh, in nuclear medicine, which is um, uh, functional imaging, you know, uh, heart scans and bone scans, etc. We're incorporating that with the CAT scan. Now, it's not a CAT scan like the, the deluxe model here. It's a simpler bit one, but it the patient goes through the CAT scan and then through the nuclear medicine camera, and it combines it, the two best aspects of both to provide you with a high resolution exam which uh, shows functional imaging. Uh, and it, again, it's going to be very important, particularly in people with cardiac disease. And the third one is the uh, complete transformation from, again, old film technology to digital radiology in terms of everyday x ray, which everybody has had. So no longer will the technologist be compelled to take a, uh, a cassette and go to a processor. It'll just be like the digital camera that your associate is holding here. They'll line them up, snap the picture, it'll be instantly available. If they like the x-ray, if the position is good, then bink this off and the next patient is in. And as well, by not by being able to line things up properly and uh, do it quickly, they decrease the radiation of the person. So it's a win-win. So improved health care. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This has to uh, be an attractor for new doctors as well. well Will this, this help in this, this recruitment? This is extremely important. Uh, we have a new radiologist coming in 212, and he would not have come if we did not have MR. And uh, I think if you talk to Chris and Honeyset in the physician recruiting office, you'll find that there's been a, 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 a far greater number of people that are actually looking at North Bay favorably now that uh, we have this new institution that we can move into.